game director Joshua Mills is here to tell you how and why. So the current state of frag grenades in Siege is that they're incredibly powerful. Basically, they are killing machines. You don't have time to react to them if they're cooked properly. And they can take out a decent amount of utility. And by decent, I mean all utility, depending on how they're being tossed. And they can take down soft destruction. What are we doing with the frags? We're removing the ability to cook the grenades. They're still as powerful as before as far as like the damage they can do and their killing potential, but it's more reactive for the defenders. So basically a grenade comes in, you have to make a decision. Do you move into more precarious position? But again, we are removing the ability to cook them. When you deploy them, they'll have a four second fuse timer on them. And then after bouncing off a surface, that fuse timer actually drops a little bit. This is very similar to how the flash grenades work currently. The biggest benefit to the change that we're trying to do with the frags is to allow operator diverse loadouts, which is, it's not the must pick. It is pick based on scenario and based on situation you're in. You can't just have the one pick option that is the option because there's no point for anything else to exist if that's the case. We want that and distributing. We want more operators to have them and have access to them and be able to play around with coming up with new ways to build out their loadouts. This season, the Rainbow